Well, it's the evening of our first full night in California, and uh, it's time to try a whole bunch of treats from Knott's Berry Farm that we got earlier in the day. So let's try some stuff out. First item we're gonna try are jelly beans. <clears throat> and of course, gonna try them out first. I had these before. Um, That's been they were, they were good for what I remember. Yeah. There we go. They're pretty solid. Yeah. Jelly beans. They taste mildly of boysenberry. Pretty good. Absolutely. Now. Try some of the salt water taffy. Oh, salt water? Yes. Not bad. It's a good taffy. Hmm. I got definitely. I would definitely would eat more of it if it's like available, you know. Yeah. And nothing else is. <laughs> and if there was like other choices, of course. But like, yeah, I don't outwardly hate it. Most of the time, salt water, tip, salt water, tip, taffy. It's been a long day. Mm -hmm. um, is uh, not normally my favorite, but that one's pretty solid. Nice. All right, Matt is gonna try the jelly beans first. Boysenberry jelly beans. Mm. A little sweetness in a tart, but not, well, not too bad. Pretty solid jelly beans, I'd say. Mm -hmm. All right, and then next, have some taffy. It's a bit sweeter than I'm used to with the uh, taffy. Yeah. But it's not bad. Definitely has that boysenberry coming through. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Just a hint of it. But it's still it's very good. Excellent. So next we're gonna try the boysenberry, the famous boysenberry cookies from Knott's. Matt got some. They're classic. Mm-hmm. That's berry cookie goes well with the tart berry. Yeah. Figured as much. All right, now we have Chris doing the cookies. Yeah, it's been a little while since I've had one of these, so I figured I'd try it. Classic buttery cookie. That nice sweet and tartness of the boysenberry in the middle. These are good. Thankfully, these are fairly, like you can find these around. They're not that hard to find, but the other boysenberry stuff we have is, you can only get it at Nods. But these are good, so definitely get them if you can. All right, Corey is trying the cookie. Yeah, it was good. Pretty much everything that you guys have echoed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I initially saw these, they were um, in a Ross that I used to work at. And I didn't even put it together until it was actually at now it's very far like a while ago um so yeah like chris said they're not like super rare um, they're fairly common to get but they're pretty good yeah yeah solid all right so now we're getting into the what i call the good stuff um fudge because who doesn't love delicious theme park fudge so we have six different flavors here we're going to try we have uh Caramel praline, vanilla butterfinger, funfetti cake, cookie dough, blueberry cheesecake, and sour watermelon. I try to get the most like exotic flavors. So uh, yeah, we're gonna try these bad boys out. All right, so we're gonna start with Matt with the praline fudge. A little nutty with the aliens, but. I mean, pralines are nuts, so that makes sense. It actually goes really well with the fudge. Yeah, I figured it would. A little bit of earthy tones to it. Interesting. 
But good? Yeah. Solid. All right, Corey's up next. Not as noted for me. It's a little subtle. Um, but it's there. And what's there is pretty good. Nice. All right, here's Chris. Let's try this. I agree with Corey. The, um, the praline flavor is a little bit subtle. It's there. So it's good. It definitely reminds me of a praline, but I have a very sick suspicion that one's probably going to rank towards the bottom. Uh, I think the reason I had a more praline flavor is because I actually had the nut in mine. I had a chunk of nut in mine, too. And it was still good, but yeah, I think uh, we'll, we'll have to see how the rest go, but I have a feeling that one's going to be towards the bottom. All right, so Matt is trying the vanilla Butterfinger. It's not bad. It's almost like non-existent Butterfinger flavor to me. Hmm. So the Butterfinger is subtle. Yeah, it's not exactly strong like I would think it would be. Hmm, that's interesting. All right, Corey's trying it now. There it is. Okay, it's getting stronger now. Yeah, it takes a bit. Um, I'm not sure if it's like a, a stronger vanilla flavor that wants to hit you first and then have the Butterfinger come flavor come in at the back end, but that's what we're dealing with. Hmm. Um, it's a little subtle at first, but I think the more you have it, the more the flavor kind of comes in a little bit more. Um, who knows? That might just be my piece, but yeah, it's a lot more kind of like a, a slow burn. Hmm. Good to know. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try the Butterfinger Vanilla. Yeah, the um, the vanilla overpowers it, which is weird because you think vanilla would just be a base, and then that would allow the Butterfinger to stand out. It doesn't though. It like it. It's much more, the vanilla is much bolder than you would expect it to be. So it's not bad, um, but definitely disappointing. Matt's trying out Funfetti cake. You get the hints of like an actual cake in there. Oh, that's good. Like you can taste the frosting and everything. Ooh. So it's actually really good. Actually, it tastes like I'm actually eating a Funfetti cake. Oh, wow. It's funny, out of all the ones we got, I didn't expect that one to be one of the stronger flavors. So. No, this is definitely towards the top of my list. Mm, interesting. All right, Corey's trying it now. Yeah. It does taste like a fun fatty cake. So that's, yeah, yeah. so it's not just vanilla. Yeah. Nice. No, you're getting the icing and everything else. Yeah, like the little frosting and all that. Mm. So it's actually pretty decent. Wow, it's good to know. All right, my turn. Yeah, to echo what everybody said, you taste everything. You taste the cake, you taste the icing, obviously you taste the sprinkles. It's good. So far, it's the best one we've tried. Next up is cookie dough. Matt's gonna try that one out. This is the one I was looking the most forward to. Mm. Mm. I think it has the potential to be one of the better or it could just be vanilla, mm -mm. but it doesn't sound like it is. Oh no, you get that strong cookie dough flavor in there. And I know, I've eaten a lot of cookie dough ice cream and cookie dough from when my mom baked cookies, so this is good. It's really good? Mm -hmm. It's right up there with that Funfetti cake. Ooh, that's, that's good. All right, Corey's trying cookie dough. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad at all, I like it. It tastes like cookie dough? Yes, it does. That that's all you need. <laughs> Pretty much, like, um, it's been a long day for me. So my yeah, it's not really working as far as like finding the proper words to describe things. But um, it is probably one of the better ones that we had so far. So good to know. All right, my turn for the cookie dough. You definitely get that chocolate chip cookie dough flavor in there. Um, it balances well with the rest of it. Yeah, really solid. Um, 
it's funny how we're kind of amping up the flavor. I have a feeling these last two are probably gonna be the boldest flavors, especially the last one, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Second to last one, blueberry cheesecake. I realize this was kind of bland compared to some of the others we've had. That's disappointing. You'd expect this one to be pretty bold. No, this one actually just tastes like the frosting from the funfetti. Hmm. I don't really taste anything else. I don't even, like, not even a hint of blueberry. Oh, that's really disappointing. Yeah, this one might be the bottom one for me. Oh, man. All right, Corey's up. Well, after that. <laughs> Glowing review. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> that stinks. That's exactly what it is. Blue frosting that you get in a store bought cake. But Not this... even a cake part, just blue frosting. Oh, that's sad. I guess I'll try it now. Maybe you all just got bad pieces. Because I tasted all that. It, it. I get the blueberry, I get the cheesecake. You get a little bit of Yeah, that's fair. Um. I will say it's it's more subtle than it should be. So I get it if you don't necessarily pick up on those notes. I like it better than they did. However, I do agree that it's disappointing because it should have been one of the boldest flavors. And it's towards the bottom in terms of like hit you in the face with the flavor. It's there. It's just way more subtle than it should have been. All right, Matt's gonna try the final fudge flavor, sour watermelon. You definitely get that sour punch you're looking for. That's good. Although, I mean, I guess with watermelon, it's there a little bit, but not too much. So it's not overpowering, overpowering watermelon? No, it's like a very subtle watermelon. But it's there. But yeah, but you do definitely get the sour. So that one is up mark. For the most part. Okay, nice. All right, Corey's gonna try it. The last one. Look, these fudges have been handing me lost after lost after lost. <laughs> so for this next I fudge, demand a win, I okay? Demand win, okay. <laughs> okay, that, that was a win? Yeah, yeah. I got the watermelon immediately. Now I'm getting a bit of the sour. Very strong with the, with the watermelon, though. In a good way? Yeah, in a good way, yeah. Nice. Love to see it. All right. Well, let's try the sour watermelon one. The watermelon starts off very punchy. I'd say it fades off towards the end, but that's not a bad thing. Yeah. Um, and then that little kick of sour is nice. I was really curious as to how... Sour and fudge would work pretty well, honestly. Like it's a it's it's not like super sour. It's not like a warhead, but like it's just enough. Adds a little bite to it, and then just in general, the concept of watermelon fudge is nice because it's not a flavor you normally at all associate with fudge. So. Honestly, I think they knocked that one out of the park. I thought that one was really good. All right, last but certainly not least, we're gonna try the item that I think is one of the most interesting things I've seen at a like one of these like candy counter places: chocolate covered Twizzlers with M and M's on them. We'll see how this is. Go ahead, try it, Matt. It's interesting. You get the tartness of the Twizzler mm -hmm. with the sweetness of the chocolate, the smooth chocolate with the chewy Twizzler, just a lot of different combinations running together at the same time. And the crunchy M&Ms on top of that. Yeah. This is like a texture explosion, kind of. And this, I mean, the chocolate is mostly the forefront flavor, but you definitely get the Twizzler in there as you bite into it, so it's just... Interesting. Just not something I was, was expecting. Fair enough. All right. Corey's now going to try the chocolate covered Twizzler. There's a lot of textures going on. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the thing because you have yeah, the chewy Twizzler, 
then the chocolate, which is just kind of smooth and melty, and then the crunchy M&M. So that's just, there's like, it's the trifecta of texture. Yeah. <laughs> which is not something you normally get in one item. You don't normally get smooth, crunchy, and chewy all at once. Yeah. Um, I felt uh, Matt described it pretty well. Um, so it's going to be mainly chocolate. Um, but it doesn't mean that the Twizzler is like overpowered. Um, you feel it in the texture and then you also get it in the taste. Hmm. Um, so it's mainly, yeah, chocolate covered Twizzler. Um, it's gonna, you're gonna get like the, uh, I think it's strawberry or maybe. I think it's strawberry, yeah. Um, of the, of the Twizzler kind of like in the back end of it. Um, because you're going through all of that chocolate. Um, which is not a bad thing. And I feel like with the... Because uh, there's different types that they have. They have yeah. sprinkle covered. We went with kind of the M&M. most interesting one we thought, which was the mini M&M's. Yeah, I feel like we made a great choice with that one. It's um, fun. Yeah. I would say it's, a, it's, it's fun to eat. Because there's a lot of textures going on. Um, not too much that it's confusing it's interesting mm-hmm. and you find yourself wanting to have another bite oh. so it's pretty good nice right, my turn for the chocolate covered twizzler to echo what the other two guys have said definitely unique um just the combination of textures Cause like everyone said, you get that um, nice, luscious, melty chocolate, the chewy Twizzler on the back end, <clears throat> and then the crispy mini M and M's. It's it's definitely a a unique treat that you would not normally think of chocolate coating like. There are so many other things I think make way more sense to chocolate cooked than Twizzlers, but I kind of like it. Um, and I would have that again. I thought it was pretty good. All right, Matt. So out of all the things we tried, what would you say was your favorite? What was your least favorite? Mm. Here was the cookie dough fudge. Okay. His favorite was the blueberry cheesecake. Interesting. Okay. Corey, what was your favorite, least favorite? Favorite is the M&M uh, covered, chocolate covered Twizzler. Mm-hmm. Least favorite is... The... I guess my piece of the blueberry cheesecake. Okay. Like I said, it just tasted just like... I see. Frosting, yeah. Hmm. Um, all the other ones, like I started to taste a bit of the nut for the pecan, pra- chestnut praline. Mm-hmm. Um, and then like the Butterfinger flavor kind of came through like a little bit of another Butterfinger. Um, whereas I got no type of like cheesecake blueberry type flavor and in my piece of the blueberry cheesecake fudge so Mm. that is i think that's my choice of (laughs) toast so i'm gonna say my favorite honestly was the watermelon fudge i thought that was the most unique out of all the items i will give a very special honorable mention to the m&m twizzler thing just because that was probably the biggest, the most experience, um, the most interesting experience when it comes to the everything we tried. Um, least favorite, I'd say, is the vanilla Butterfinger. That's the one that should have been a very easy flavor profile that just didn't work for some reason. It just tasted like vanilla. I didn't get the Butterfinger. Like, it shouldn't be hard to do vanilla fudge with crispy Butterfinger flakes in the middle. Like, it should be easy, but this one was just kind of disappointing. So, yeah. But anyway, we tried a bunch of uh, sugary snacks, 
And uh, yeah, which one would you like to try? Let us know in the comments below. But anyway, that's going to do it for this taste test adventure here in California. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell. That way you know when new videos drop. And uh, check out some more videos we have from our adventures here uh, very soon. And anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>